What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Noman and today's analysis video is going to be about the new Atletico Madrid signing, Alvaro Morata. So as we all know Morata has finally joined his boyhood club Atletico Madrid on an 18 months loan with an option to buy. In today's video we will analyze Morata's gameplay and we will also discuss his strengths and weaknesses. So first of all we will start with his stance and then we will talk about the areas where he needs improvements. So Morata has scored 24 goals for Chelsea in 72 appearances and out of those 24 goals, 10 were scored through headers. This high number clearly shows us that Morata is very deadly in the air. Morata and Espliqueta actually built a very good partnership under Antonio Conte. And Espliqueta used to play a lot of crosses from deep areas for Morata. And Alvaro Morata actually scored a lot of goals using that partnership. However, that partnership hasn't been working under Mauricio Sarri because Sarri's system doesn't really involve a lot of crossing and thus Chelsea haven't been able to use Morata's biggest strength which is his aerial ability. And we can actually see from all these clips that Morata is actually very very good in the air. Morata mainly failed to make an impact under Mauricio Sarri because Sarri's system doesn't really involve a lot of crossing. However, Sarri still liked Morata and believed that he was the right striker for his system because of Morata's good link-up play. Morata is actually very good with quick one-touch passing combinations and he also often drops deep to help involve his teammates in the play. So Rudiger plays the ball to Morata and then Morata quickly plays it back to Jorginho with a one-touch pass and then Jorginho to Barkley again one-touch pass. The most important point to note here is that all the passes were one-touch combinations and that's exactly what Sari Ball is. Quick vertical one-touch passing to open up spaces. And Morata actually has this ability to play quick one-touch passes and link up with his teammates. Apart from his good one-touch link-up, Morata is also very good at exploiting spaces behind the opposition defense. Mauricio Sarri likes his Chelsea team to play it from the back, which means they invite the opponents to move up and press them. And often when the opponents move up to press Chelsea, their defensive line pushes up which leaves the spaces open behind the defensive line. So as we can see here, Chelsea are actually trying to play it from the back and they are inviting Arsenal to move up and press them. And as soon as Arsenal's players pushed up to press Chelsea, spaces opened up behind the defensive line, which Alvaro Morata tried to exploit and scored the goal. But now the big question is that if he's good at one touch link up and exploiting spaces behind the defensive line, then why did Sarri let him leave Chelsea? Well, number one, Chelsea's gameplay doesn't include crosses and thus they weren't using Morata's real strength, which is his aerial ability. And number two, Morata's poor finishing, especially in 1v1 situations. And this is Morata's biggest weakness. His finishing in 1v1 situations against the goalkeeper is very poor. 1v1 against the goalkeeper and Morata misses it.
Another issue that I have noticed with Morata is his decision making, as he often ignores the right option. Morata receives the ball, he can quickly play a one-touch pass to Pedro who can then quickly release Barkley behind City's high defensive line. But Morata decided not to pass the ball to Pedro and it's decide to move with the ball and again, now he has the chance to play the ball either to Barkley or Kalamut Sanudoy. But again, Morata decided not to pass. Despite the difficult time at Chelsea, I still believe that Morata can perform at a very high level if a team plays to his strengths. And sometimes you just need a change of environment to get back on track. And I hope that this change will be a positive one for Morata. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.